one of the biggest secrets in Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes is revealed. The real name of the female character in the movie. In the past few hours, a new trailer has been released which is called Raka, but it's really a trailer focused on the human female character we saw in the trailers. This trailer confirms many of the theories we have mentioned on this channel, as well as the human's second name, a name that could be connected to the original Planet of the Apes movies, and even strengthens the theory that we will have astronauts in this new movie. In this video, we will be analyzing this new trailer and what it means for the new film of Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes, as it is undoubtedly one of the previews that will give a lot to talk about. And for more videos of your favorite series and movies, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Welcome to the Oasis Geek. Since a few weeks ago, it had been mentioned that we would have a trailer focused on the story of the human in this new installment, known by some as May and by others as Nova. The trailer that was released today, although it bears the name Raka, is really focused on this human character and her purpose in the movie. The trailer begins with a scene of an orangutan named Raka, accompanied by Noah, sitting in front of a campfire. Raka is explaining to Noah the history of humanity and apes, and apparently they are outdoors in a type of camp. The first thing we need to understand is that Raka is not from Noah's tribe. Raka is an ape that Noah finds in the Forbidden Zone. After his tribe, the Eagle Clan, is attacked by the men of Proximus Caesar. Apparently, in the campfire scene, we are going to see when Noah meets Nova for the first time, while Raka explains to him the importance of humans. In the trailer, we can see that while Raka mentions that humans and apes lived side by side in the past, we are shown scenes of Caesar. And we can also hear when Raka mentions that Caesar was their leader. But as time went by, the humans lost their dominance and became mute. The interesting thing about this is that Noah comes from a tribe where they know nothing about Caesar or the old history. But Raka apparently comes from the clan of Proximus Caesar and knows a lot about what happened in the past. Let's not forget that Proximus Caesar has continued Caesar's teachings, albeit in his own way. We move on to several scenes that we have seen in previous trailers. But then we are shown a new scene. A scene that changes everything and confirms many of the theories that we have talked about in this channel. In that scene, we can see the human character talking. I have a name. May. In our previous video, we theorized that one of the reasons why Noah called this character Nova was because Nova could be the name used by apes to refer to human women. However, the fact of being called Nova was quite confusing, as it had been mentioned that this character's name was May. Thanks to the trailer, we have confirmation that she is indeed called May. And it also confirms one of the first theories we had mentioned in this channel, and that is that May has the ability to speak. When she speaks, Raka drops the clothes he was holding in his hands, and we see that in this scene, Raka is no longer wearing the necklace with Caesar's symbol. I think this scene is near the end of the movie, and it is something that will surprise both Raka and Noah alike. But why are the apes after May? And how does her story fit into all of this? According to what we have been able to understand, with the information revealed in the past few weeks, the story will begin with a focus on Noah and his tribe, the Eagle Clan. This is a tribe that lives similar to animals. They are not very educated, and they focus more on connecting with nature through rituals, such as connecting with some eagles on a mountain. This clan will be attacked by Proximus Caesar's clan, and during this fight the Eagle Clan loses their home, because as seen in the previews, Proximus Caesar uses fire to destroy Noah's home. Then, Noah will seek revenge. He will start investigating, and basically he will go to the Forbidden Zone. In the Forbidden Zone, he will meet Raka and May, two characters who are also escaping from Proximus Caesar. Possibly Raka freed May from Proximus and decided to help her, escaping along with her. I think Raka was the spiritual leader of Proximus Caesar's clan, but he decided to help May escape, not knowing that May could talk. May is trying to escape from Proximus Caesar, and Noah is looking to confront him but realizes he must save this human. 
This is when Noah begins to learn the history of Caesar and the humans. This is where Noah might discover that he has some sort of parentage with Caesar, and for that reason he must fulfill his purpose. However, the trailer leaves us with an open question. Why can May talk? Why did she prove to be so smart or important that Proximus Caesar needs to stop her? There are several possibilities here that we have discussed on this channel before. The first possibility is that May is an astronaut, especially astronaut Marianne Stewart, the same one who arrived on the Icarus, but lost her life in the first Planet of the Apes movie. Perhaps in this version it is Taylor who loses his life, and Marianne or May is the one who must try to escape from the Planet of the Apes. If she is an astronaut, perhaps the first contact she had with the Apes occurs because Caesar's clan saw the ship fall near their tribe, and she was captured for a while and then released by Raka. The next possibility is that she is a human living in a hidden civilization underground and has come into contact with Proximus Caesar. Perhaps humans who eventually became mutants. Perhaps May comes from the Forbidden Zone, but from underground. Or maybe May really is the first human who can talk in a long time. And that's why Proximus Caesar wishes to wipe her out so that humans will never have dominion in the world again. This trailer has revealed a lot about the movie and has confirmed many of the theories and rumors we had mentioned, such as that May could talk, and that this trailer would be focused on her, thus proving once again that many of the theories and leaks we mentioned on this channel ended up being true. Although, of course, there are other theories such as the astronauts or Caesar's true descendant, which we would have to wait for the film's release to find out if they will come true. In conjunction with this trailer, the full scene in which Noah meets May was released, as well as several promotional images from the movie, which we will be discussing in our next video. What is clear is that May will be the unexpected protagonist of the film, and her character could be hiding a lot more than we think. Possibly the theory that May is indeed the protagonist of the film will be a reality. But tell me what you think about all this. Why do you think May can talk? Is this evidence that she is an astronaut? Or is she a human who has managed to talk? And that's why Proximus Caesar is after her. And for more videos from the Planet of the Apes universe, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. I have a name. May. You are on. The Oasis Geek.